Hi and welcome to the tutorial of FMV Maker and we'll just start off really quickly by creating a new Unity project. I'll just name it Test FMV Maker here <coughs> using the 3D template and starting off the new project I'll just speed up the video here to remove or reduce the waiting time and we'll just start with the new empty project on the PC, Mac and Linux standalone and create in the asset store for the FMV Maker asset. There is now just one this one asset but in future we hope to provide you a few more assets and now we're just adding FMV Maker to our Unity project. Let's see, open the Unity editor and wait for the package manager to fetch it from the asset store. Here it is and now download it. That's fairly quickly because it's not that big. Import it and as we can see in the import window there are just few scripts, just few images and so on. We just import it. There will be a new folder called FMV Maker which contains all the stuff needed to use it and also a few example scenes we'll just open the first example scene called circle fmv just to give you a quick overview of how this thing works we're just starting the scene and we'll see that we're fetching the video from an online source it will take a little time to load and as you all knew or as you all know the uh, Whoever played FMV games, it's like a point and click game where certain places on the video screen can be clicked. Let's see, we'll just try to transition to the next state. Give it a shot, just have to wait again for loading the video. Um, and you'll see that transition will work. The next video is started and we can just go on to the next video. Um, as you can see, we'll just, we don't download every video linked in the prototype we're just downloading them on demand to reduce the download volume, the data volume on your device whatever and not even transitions are possible there are also some kinds of items which will launch different parts of your full motion video game I just recorded these videos with my smart smartphone and cut it in shortcut to give you a short example of how such a short prototype can look but I guess that's enough of the showcase we should start into it and for the easiest start just duplicate the circle FMV scene we will rename it to um, let's say custom FMV and everything that's in there is within the FMV maker component and we'll explain it in depth in our GitHub repository. There's also a getting started article here providing with all the infos and in the releases section you can find either the release for the Unity Asset Store, this Unity package or zip file without demo videos for getting started we'll just switch to the demo videos on our local hard drive to make it a little bit faster and to avoid all the loading process. There is also a section explaining this in depth at the readme file from our github repository and here it is if you want to use the demo videos provided by us just make sure you download them and put them in the FM, FMV Maker video section under the resources folder and to tell FMV Maker to use the internal videos from our Unity project we just have to change the setting here from online to internal and save it as the next step we'll just make sure that all our configuration data is here there is this clickable and the video data will just duplicate them from our example to make it a little bit faster to create it and I'll just name them custom 
FMV clickable data and custom FMV video data. And here we go. I'll open them in Notepad++. Notepad++ provides a very good um, syntax highlighting and I'll just delete everything except the first element in our list. If you're not familiar with JSON lists, please make sure to get some information about them online or at some certain tutorials. And we're just saving the data here and leave the first version for you to get a quick overview how this may look in a very reduced form. FMV Maker has the FMV Helper component, FMV Data component on the FMV Helper object, which links all the configuration data. For now, it's the video and the clickable data. We don't need the online video mapping file. Please do make sure to check out our README file at the GitHub repository to use how to learn how to use the online video mapping. As an next step, we'll just put the FMV videos in here. I'll just download the zip file from the repository and I'll just take a few out of our example videos and put them in there. Unity will do the encoding for us because Unity can handle certain types of videos. I prefer converting everything to, FM, uh, to MP4 with shortcut. Also very good video cutting tool. To show you how it's done in a better way, oh yes, here is the reference for the JSON list and also a short tutorial reference and the structure of our JSON files for the video lists can be found here in our tutorial section. The same goes for the video list, uh, for the JSON data in our clickable list. I'll just scroll down a bit to show you guys the list down here. This is the video list again and this is just for a tutorial on the GitHub repository but we'll take out this JSON data to give you a quicker impression because all the video files are linked already. Here is the clickable list with our clickables to create a short prototype. I'll copy this into the clickable fi clickables file. It's on the right side now. Paste it. I'll just explain it in a moment. Get the video file, the video data, video list. Paste it again. And as you can see, the video data elements consist of a name and some navigation targets and the main parts of the clickable data is another name, a unique name and a target video. Let's compare it to what we have in our assets folder in the project. The video data has a name that maps exactly to a video file, so make sure all your videos are named in a unique and explainable way so you can recognize them while defining a structure in the JSON files and every video element will link to a clickable also with a unique name and these clickables will link to a pickup video file which is also related by its file name without the extension because it's not needed here and we'll just see that every video file has one or more targets to a clickable. There is also the property is navigation to mark them as pure transitions within your clickable file and the relative screen position where when we compare it to the game view values null, null, zero, zero to x and y on the left lower corner and values one and one are on the upper right corner. So 
check again if we have linked them up here and start the scene and we'll see that there is no loading when starting the prototype there is already the clickable called unique clickable that marks a navigation target and you can also see its relative screen position and the next video will be started as soon as you click on it it's the next unique video name which is the transition to this state here and the next target is the next clickable which will take us to the another unique video name when clicking on it let's click on it and as you can see the next video is started the same goes for another unique video name which points to other clickable which again points to a different unique video name which brings us back to the first state basically and this first state will also have the unique clickable again to finish the circle so that it's possible to transition to the next unique video name again as this may sound and look a little bit confusing at first it's actually pretty easy there is also the possibility to give your FMV game some personal touch by adding your own icons and the easiest way to add these icons, icons is to put them in the FMV Maker Textures folder and give them the same name as you may give the clickables so we can see here the unique clickables the arrow to the right and it's also the same name here in our clickable list okay just stop the scene and I'll show you another short diagram how this can look on a more analytical way and what I forgot to mention earlier is that you also have to set the name of the start video. I just added a string here, so make sure that the start video has the same name as the video you want to start with. So thanks for watching this short tutorial, I hope you now got a better understanding. If there are any questions, please file an issue at GitHub or write my mail at the asset store. And um, I hope you all have fun with FMV Maker and I can see all the cool FMV games you will be building. Thanks.